It was definitely um, very cool. Um, I feel like we was well deserved. Uh, we put in the work for the, this past like four weeks, just getting ready for Iowa. Um, it was good to see it pay off. What does this do for the long, you know, for next year and, and for the kind of the trajectory in the future of this program? It just gives something to build off of. We know um, we're not where we want to be yet, but we definitely are going in the right direction. Just defensively, how big was it to get the? Those two stops, uh, I guess the fourth down stop earlier. And a couple oh, it's definitely, um, we've been talking all year how we haven't had a red zone stop or that big goal, fourth down stop. Um, and we got both of them in this game, so it was very pleasing to see that um, our hard work finally paid off. As well as, you know, you all didn't have any guys who had played in a bowl game before. How mm -hmm. big was it to start? So, uh, I mean, with, with this lack of experience in this situation, you being a fourth year guy and played in one yet, I mean, how big was that? Yeah, it was definitely a big thing. Um, it's a big thing to get our mindset right. We know it's, even though it's a bowl game, it's still football. It's what we've been playing our, all our lives. So we didn't try to get involved in all the hype, and we just came out there and just did what we are supposed to do. They've got a, a pretty good wrap their offensive line. Does. I know you're not necessarily you know, banging oh, yeah, yeah. with offensive tackles oh, yeah. and guards very often, but, I mean, it seemed like y'all – yeah, mm -hmm. front seven really held their own against those guys. Oh yeah, um, you de you definitely can tell when they got a good um, offensive line. But uh, Jordan Williams and um, O'Brien, they just came into play. Barnett, they all came to play and they um, kept them off the secondary and, and off the linebackers as well. So uh, you can kind of tell that we, our, our front seven was winning the battle. You know, Darwin Neal got another pick today, obviously oh, yeah. in the end zone. How just how, how good have you felt for that guy this year? You know, he was you know picked on so many times the past couple of years, and for oh, him yeah, to go out there and have a season like this had to be big. Uh, he's a very mature guy. He don't he don't listen to none negativity. He always he's very confident in himself. Uh, he's a great player. He's a great teammate. He always wants you to succeed just as much as we want him to succeed. So, like you said, it was great to see him um, finally get that second pick of the year. What did you make of the crowd? I mean, it seemed like it was pretty, oh, yeah. uh, almost like it looked like a game at Neyland. Did it surprise yeah. you, or yeah. what did you think about that? I was just about to say, it looked, felt like a home game, sounded like a home game, looked like a home game. So uh, it was a great environment. Um, wasn't much different from Neyland, like you said. So uh, that was very uh, um, influential to our win. How much do you guys kind of feed off the, the offense when they're rolling early and you guys mm -hmm. um, going back up there on defense, obviously getting out to a big lead? Yeah, it's definitely a help. Um, it puts less pressure on us as a defense. We know we can. Um, we want to play tight. Uh, if we happen to give a big play, it's not the end of the world. So, especially when the offense putting up 35 points, stuff like that, it, it really helps us out and loosens us up. Were you feeling it early? You had a big hit there. I think it broke up a either second or third down pass. You oh yeah. Seem like you were just more physical there early on. Oh yeah. We we definitely um been waiting to play. We've been practicing, been hitting each other all this time. So. Well, you could tell when we got there, we, we had a little extra juice this game. Brian, just to make it out, really looked like there was a team, team speed difference in your all's favor. Could you see oh, yeah. that oh, yeah, first yeah. couple series? Yeah. It's, uh, just SEC versus the Big Ten guy? I don't know. I don't know about all that, but <laughs> you, got, you got a lot of Georgia boys on our team, a lot of Florida boys, and that's where speed comes from. So. And, I mean, it seems like you guys have a really good plan, but just mm -hmm. not surprised by anything in the first half. So yeah. you stopped them four or five straight times. Can you, I mean, is that accurate? I mean, did you, were there not many surprises with the game plan? Oh, uh, yes. But with us, we had a lot of time to prepare for them. Um, we knew they, they they were sound on their game plan. Uh, they don't do too many crazy stuff, don't too many formations, stuff like that, too many motions. So uh, we just came and we adjusted to the motions that they did make and um, the plays that we seen on film. Once the offense gave you that big lead, were you able to kind of play a little loose, and take oh, yeah. some chances? And oh, yeah. Some? Yeah, we definitely were taking chances. Um, that's how uh, Liddell actually got one of his picks. We had a cover four and we, we were loose. We could come. It was um, his man was coming towards me, so he was able to get off his man and help the um, nickel out with his and uh, sneak in there for the pick. So, can you just describe the emotion on the field? You know, getting this win, such a big deal for the team. You've talked about it all season. What was that like? Oh yeah, it's very emotional. Um, you've never seen some big guys cry, big bad guys on the field, but as soon as um, you get the victory, guys like Jordan Williams was in there just boohooing and tears coming in his eyes. So. Um, it was good to see, and it's something I'll be able to make fun of him for in, the, in a couple of days. What's it like to be able to send these seniors off with this final win? It was great. Like I said, um, Jordan Williams is a, one of my roommates. Um, you could t you know how much it means on football. means everything to him. So uh, this was just a great victory to send him off in the right way. A couple more. Do you leave here feeling like you know maybe this was the first, the start of 2015, and you guys have already started laying a, a sound foundation for next year? Oh, yeah. That, that, was our, that was our mindset, too. We felt like this was the first game of the year we come in here. We don't know what they're going to give us. We don't. We were prepared for everything. So we felt like this was a first game of the year mentality. we got to get off to a good start and um, get 2015 start off right. Can you put into perspective all kind of the strides this program has made from a year ago today where you guys are now? I mean, it's got oh, yeah. It must be a much different program yeah. inside. Yeah, you can definitely tell on the difference. Um, our past programs had a lot of talent, but um, it felt like at times they didn't play together. Um, this team also has talent, but the difference is we play together. So how do the goals change for next year? 
the goals. Mm. Oh yeah, it's definitely um definitely want to build off this. This is the foundation. Um, getting Gator Bowl, bowl is a good bowl, but we definitely have our eyes set on um, bigger things next year.